Hello and welcome to today's video. Now this video starts with this emergency light that I shown on my channel about two years ago and it's just been sitting around doing absolutely nothing. I tried to get a new battery for it but these things are obsolete. So what I've decided to do is convert it from the old emergency light with all the parts you can see in front of the light to a preheat fitting. So first what we'll do is we'll show what was in it and then after that I will uh, show the emergency lights in us and have that working as well and this light now is a lot more useful because it can be used for almost anything also as it's IP65 rated it can also be used outdoors so first we'll start with the emergency light at the moment it's running 240 mains and is live so I don't recommend touching it so I'm going to turn it off first green LED will go out and the little fluorescent tube will come on and this tube is barely on and these emergency lights basically run cold cathode because they only have one connection on them I'll try and show you the etch on the tube it's a standard T5 6 watt 35 is the color it's made by GE and it was also this one was made in China the battery pack has nothing on it whatsoever in fact I'm going to unplug that now so I can actually pick up the main light itself and this is basically the what it is it's a transformer green LED outputs to the fluorescent light at one end inputs mains at the other end and then obviously the battery to store it with loads of different resistors a capacitor something that's got very very hot I see a diode in there as well and some infinite random information and that's it basically and this thing will work or should work for three hours but this one doesn't now we'll get rid of that and we'll show you the former emergency light it's still got its same tube in this one has very little information on it it just says T5 8 watt WW and inside now we have a ballast now this ballast is designed to run one tube times 13 watts so it is slightly overrunning this tube but not by much and as long as you don't really overrun fluorescent tubes they work fine most of the smaller tubes are overrun anyway because they didn't make the ballast small enough but anyway as you can see the live wire comes in goes to the ballast and then the out from the ballast is this pink wire which goes to one end of the tube and then the neutral wire from the other end of the tube goes back to neutral and basically the other ends of the tube are basically connected with a starter all the way across one loose wire to the other end and that is how preheat lights work it's also a ground and this just fits inside fine I took the screws out just for this video so what we'll do is we'll put the cover on loose and start it up on three one two three there we go, nice bit of blink action there. 
once more. Doesn't doesn't always flash. It, it does actually depend on I, if there's any charge in the tube, I suppose. But sometimes it comes on, and other times like that it flashes. And then the old emergency light equipment, which was inside it, we'll just quite quickly connect up the battery again. And there we go. So anyway, I hope you like this short video of this emergency light converted into preheat. I got the idea from another YouTube guy who's and what I'll do is I'll um, put his link in the video below. And basically he has converted one of these emergency lights into a twin preheat light fitting. So he's probably still using a 13 watt ballast, but he's now using two 8 watt tubes. Well, anyway, I'd like to say thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this short video of this former emergency bulkhead light, now converted to preheat IP65 rated, suitable for outdoors. I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And see you again soon. Goodbye.